The population explosion in Bear County over the past decade and a half has also led to an explosion in traffic. Today, city, county, and federal leaders say they're going to fix it. They announced almost a billion dollars in funding. Alex Shrek met with some men far from the halls of Congress and from City Hall who say they wonder if their tax dollars are being put to good use. Road repair construction, a phrase generally followed by a big price tag. Now, the truck mechanics we spoke with here said part of the problem big rigs that ride atop these big wheels barreling down the interstate. Mechanics at this roadside repair shop off of Interstate 35 and Somerset Road say these tear up the interstate. These machines right here I'm working on. Leaving both rigs and roads in a constant state of needing repair. These 18 wheelers, they tie up the roads a lot. Which is why three U.S. congressmen and members of the city and county government announced almost a billion dollars to pay for many Bear County Highway projects along 410, I-10, I-35, and State Loop 13. Not only new construction, but maintenance costs, bridges that need to be repaired, that coordinated border infrastructure, which are money for our ports of entry uh, up and down the border. Blair also says the improvements will benefit all San Antonio residents. Keep uh, growing our economy by attracting business, and of course, for the residents to have to go to work or to school. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, the mechanics we spoke with say they're not real clear what a billion dollars in road repairs looks like. Buy new cones and new, new barriers, and that's about it. But the roads stay the same. When you look at these roads, they always fix the, they fix the roads that don't need to be worked on. Like, like Shrek, KSAT 12 News. The Congressman Cuellar's office told us that the money is there, but has to go through appropriations and that entire process first.